This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here are five rare earth magnets. And what I'm going to do, it's an unusual experiment, I guess. You have here an amp meter and a voltmeter. I've got the voltmeter across these two plates. The two plates are stainless steel connecting across the rare earth magnets, meaning I'm going to run a current through the rare earth magnets, through the magnets, through the battery, to the cell. The cell has got eight plates in it, three by six. Recognize it as the one of the cells that are on the website hydrogentap.com and what I'm going to do or attempting to do is I'm running the current through the rare earth magnets to a 12 volt supply the meter over here is going to tell us what the voltage is across the rare earth magnets. It's called a voltage drop. That means how much resistance is there between the two plates. And that voltage drop will be equal to a resistance. So we're going to first run the current through that and run the cell and see how much current is being pulled. That's here. And then we're going to see how much voltage drop is across there. And then I'm going to switch the leads across the rare earth magnets so that the current's going through the magnets in a different direction and we're going to see what happens. Hope that makes sense. So I'm going to put the lead on there and we're going to watch what happens. Remember the meter on the right is the amp meter, the meter on the left is a voltage drop across. Okay, the cell's on now. Got 0.44 volts across, that's a voltage drop at 730. Well, you can see the variance is 740. Okay, and we're sticking at 044, which is what we want to see. Now I'm going to take it off. Everything drops down. Notice the voltage drop across there is gone. Now I'm going to switch the leads so we're going to send the current through the magnets in a different direction. We're going to see if there's any difference in the amperage and the voltage. So now I've got it going in a different direction. These two leads here. And we're going to try it again. Putting the battery to it. Four, six, seven. So there is a difference. In case you're wondering, there's our cell. That's the American Spirit. Hmm. What's interesting here unless I'm wrong, we're seeing a different kind of bubble coming up here. Take it off now. I'm going to let this cool down for a minute. This is very interesting. It almost looks like we're getting a different bubble out of here. So, what I'm going to do 
just a moment after this cools down. So I'm going to switch the direction of the current again. Try it again. So I'm going to switch the direction now. Turn it on again. The direction doesn't seem to make any difference as far as the bubble goes, but the bubbles are different than were there before when it was straight. Let's take another look at the uh, meters. This is in one direction. I'm going to take it off for a second. I'm going to switch directions. This is the other direction. I'm going to turn it off again and switch directions again. Now, Remember, this is going through the rare earth magnet. I'm going to turn it off as soon as it settles down. Look at the, this is the voltage drop. That's the amp. So I'm going to turn it off. Switch directions. Set it up again. It's on. Interesting. I'm going to take a look at this. I'll show you what we're doing here. As you can see, the two plates. Let me turn this off. You can see the plate arrangement here. These two down here are on the meter, the, volt, the meter that's measuring the voltage drop. This is one side going through the cell to the battery. This is the other side that is going to the battery itself. Those are two stainless steel plates. I've got the steel plates on each side of the magnet so there isn't any chance of the magnet not touching. You can see the way it's they're placed in there. But the interesting part, if it is tr interesting at all, is the type of bubble that we're getting out of here. I'm going to turn that on again. a little better. I could be wrong, but it sure looks different. That's a very unscientific point of view, but Sometimes the human eye detects things that other